Hey, hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, today, or I should say tonight, we're actually gonna be installing the R35 GTR ignition coils into the Z32. Um, and as you can see, I got a fan cooling down the engine because I just drove it here. Um, I turned it off so that you could hear me over the fan noise, but, uh, but uh, we're gonna be installing the R35 GTR coils installing the chip that has been reprogrammed specifically that changed the dwell settings in the ECU to match the R35 GTR coils. Um, so uh, this is from the BDE um, engineering kit. Um, I'll post the links below for what I got. Um, but basically, let's take a look over here. It's gonna come with uh, the high quality Hitachi ignition coils. Um, I think I already opened this one, yeah, just to check it out. Um, I opted for the, uh, the pull tabs. It's got the mounting points. Everything's all real nice. It's already comes pre-assembled and everything. The only thing that I have to do is actually install the, um, the rest of the, uh, the ignition coil wire down to the plug. Um, I do have these adapter um, wires that they came with. Came with six of these. And then... Um, apparently this is a PTU delete so we're gonna delete the PTU and then I've got the the chip to match it's got my name on there um, so um, we are about ready to dive in but I am going to let this thing cool down for a brief minute or two get my stuff in order and uh, one thing um, I have to deal with and I'm not sure how to deal with is I've got this twin power uh, ignition module on here. So I'm gonna have to take a look at what kind of wiring is, is associated with that because I'm assuming that is a delete as well. All right, so um, just peeled this back. It looks like this isn't bolted down. Um, this looks like it's just held on with some double-sided tape. So I'm gonna rip that off. And then it comes to this plug, and that looks like a Nissan plug, but it doesn't look like Nissan wire. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I'm gonna follow this over to here to the PTU, which I know we have to replace the PTU. So we take that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, off um, this hose here. I'm gonna undo the zip ties and I'm gonna pull that wire out and I'm gonna pull that whole whole wiring loom out and just see see what it looks like. <clears throat> Alright so here's a better look uh, at what's going on here. Actually let me get a better light. Here we go. So you can see here we got quite a bit of wires. So what I need to do is unplug this and unplug that, and you can see all the wires are all, are all tapped in here. Um, and it kind of looks like a big mess. So I'm gonna try and be as careful as possible and try and figure out um, what's going on. I'm probably gonna take these two bolts off to remove the PTU and, um, and uh, make it a little bit easier to figure out what's going on. So check that out. All right, so here, here we've got the kind of the rat's nest going on here. Um, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna disconnect all of these. Um, there is one lead that comes up here to this ignition um, coil here, and it looks like I'm just gonna end up snipping that guy because it looks just like a, a bad splice, so. Okay, so phase one down. Uh, looks like I've isolated the harness. I removed all these. These are just little crimp guys. You can Google them on the internet. They're not too complicated, but I was able to unsnap all those. I'm gonna follow this harness all the way over to here to that high power box. And I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it in a, in a box and save it because that is a piece of this car's history. Um, so um, then, actually, and sorry if I'm breathing heavy, it's hot in here probably like 90 some degrees so a little warm but uh, but this guy is gonna go in here 
and then plug into the other end over here and that removes the PTU. I'm gonna disconnect the battery right now so that way I don't have any ill effects from doing any of this stuff. So, oh, and FYI, I found where this wire was going. Somebody tried to do this the right way and solder it, but they just ended up with a big ball of garbage. So not only that, is this connector just totally, just broke apart. I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful with the other ones. Um, so I might just um, take these and, and solder the new, new end on that one just to make it easier. So long story short, pull this off. I got to get some goo off to get this goopy stuff off. Remounted this um, and traced all those wires back. Had to remove a ground from over here that was grounding the box. Um, followed the lines and they were all leading up to the PTU and now all I got to do is deal with this guy and uh, and if I'm looking correctly this is the first time I've ever done spark plugs on a on a Z before but it looks like this one is going to be a lot of fun never done it before so wish me luck All right, so I kind of test fitted the first one in. You can see that there, I've got the pull tab uh, pointing up. I got the connector um, connected in. You can see this factory plug is just all kinds of haggard. So I'm gonna zip tie that just to make sure it doesn't come across uh, or come out. Um, if I were gonna do this uh, like super professional, I would probably, um, I'd probably splice the wires um, so that you know, you didn't have this bunch of extra wire here. But um, just for testing purposes, I'm just gonna leave it as is because it's getting kind of late. Um, so I gotta do this one, gotta do this one, uh, one, two, and the other one. So that means I gotta take the, uh, the balance tube off and, uh, and get after it. All right, and just like that, movie magic. They're all installed. See, I got uh, R35 coils now. This one was a pain in, the, pain in the neck to get to, but I did take this off, um, which was no big deal. You just have to make sure you remove this line from the fuel pressure. I think this is the damper and that's the regulator, or those are both dampers and there's a regulator in the trunk. I don't know. Um, anyway, but you can see these wires kind of leave themselves hanging out. Again, I'm gonna come back in because each one of my connectors were, were doofed up. Um, and again, this one, I gotta, I'm just gonna electrical tape this one for now and just uh, just make sure that that doesn't ground out. The other ones are all in. Um, vacuum hoses are all hooked up and wires are all connected. So um, we should be good. So uh, the next step is to go into the cabin and uh, do the chip into the ECU and, uh, and then plug the battery back in and we should be good to go. All right, well, here goes nothing. Um, I just finished putting the chip into the ECU, which is down in there. I have not covered it back up because if it doesn't start, I am going to have to take it all apart. So cross, cross your fingers. It is hot, it is late. Thank God it started. All right. Well, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, as you can see, um, I'll have to do a driving impression um, a little bit later because it is just too late at night. Um, that clock, I don't think is right. I think it's midnight. I don't think it's one o'clock, but pretty dang late and uh, I am going to call it a night drive it home make sure everything's all good and then uh, we'll come back and do a driving impression so um, just want to say thanks everybody for watching subscribing all that good stuff um, really appreciate you and uh, again if you can uh, spread the word I'm gonna have a lot more videos on uh, the Z32 platform don't forget, I got another video update for the M56 coming really soon. Um, some not so good stuff happened to it recently, so we gotta go over some damages, yes.
Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit later. Other than that, this thing is purring like a kitten. And uh, I'm gonna turn the AC on and drive home because I am hot. Alrighty. Thanks for watching and have a good evening.